everybody. Tony Reeves, Australia's Cowgirl Medium, here in hometown in Sunday Creek, Victoria, Australia. Um, sending out today lots of love, prayers and healing to those not only in our own country with the floods, which has been absolutely, um, you know, just, just heart-wrenching to watch animals, people, uh, just the amount of water that's flooding areas. We've got friends and family members that are in these areas that are fortunately okay, but, you know, it's certainly the damage is just massive to to houses and, and you know, um, personal belongings, just everything. So it's going to take a bit for, for places to come back from that. So we're all doing as much as we can to do some fundraisers and things that will really help make a difference at this time when there's a lot of struggle around. Also thinking about our counterparts like over in um, Ukraine and Russia, you know, sending love over there as well for, you know, things to hopefully, you know, go a little bit smoother. But in the meantime, you know, the struggle is real and we're all, you know, sitting there as much as we feel pretty helpless. We're sending out those vibes that, that, uh, you know, the love and healing as much as we can. So it does feel a little bit hard to, to be so far away and not be able to feel like, you you know, you're making a difference. But while we can have them in our prayers, certainly that does make a difference. So, you know, that's where you just have to honour that process. So, yeah, so and in amongst that, you know, I feel for all of us as a collective, we're really feeling the effects of, you know, what is going on around the world and there's been massive uh, you know, these are situations that we could probably, possibly for those in the younger generation, can only imagine um, things that are happen that, you know, just, again, out of our control, but we're kind of in amongst it. So being empaths, we really feel affected. And so don't um, dismiss that, I suppose I want to say. And, you know, take the time to sit in that feeling because it's relevant to all of us. And, you know, I think uh, now more than ever, we, we'll become so sensitive to energy. And I will, you know, I'll say that over and over, um, even with lately with readings, you know, we're really feeling impacted. So just be aware of what you're feeling and sit with it and, you know, honour that feeling. So, um, yeah, you know, that's all we can do. So I've got Michelle in Iowa at the US. Michelle, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Can I ask you some dad in the spirit world for you? Because I had a dad prior to coming on here and I'm like, is that for my caller or for my readings later? I feel like it's connected. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like it's so is your dad passed, can I ask? Because I feel like I've got a dad connection mm. around. No, my dad is still my dad is still living. Okay. okay. Um so we might be going to granddad or someone on dad's side. I felt like I had a male in spirit, but there was also a reference to a sister as well. So prior to coming on today, it was like I really had this insistency from spirit, you know, coming through with messages. Um, and, uh -huh. yeah, I really felt like they'd be relevant. Does that make sense? Uh, well, my, my dad's dad has passed. I never knew him, but he's passed. Uh, my dad's sister passed not too long ago, and his other sister, I don't know if she's recently passed, but I heard that she was going to be passing. Okay. All right, because I just felt that sort of there was that connection. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. And even that the, the sister card that came through, because as I was prior to coming on, I had the dad, you know, that feeling of fatherly presence, but I had the sister card drawn, and there's the two sisters. So that's interesting. So I feel like that's sort of where the messages are coming for you today is, um, and you've got a few up there in the spiritual, um, you know, in your as far as your spiritual team goes, but it's like they were the ones stepping through first, I want to say. And there's also animals, so I feel like you're connected with animals too, I want to, because <laughs> animals normally, um, quite often I get animals and I'm like, there's animals for you in the spirit world as well, because they're, they're, so I feel like you're a very sentient person because it's like they're giving me this feeling of feeling grateful for you and having, you know, chosen you as their owner, it, they feel good about that and and almost like an acknowledgement of a great life they spent with you. And when I say they, there's more than one, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, so. I, I attract animals. I have a personality that animals are very attractive to me. 
Yeah, yeah. Awesome. My, grandpa, and then, my grandpa had a dog that I was the only one that could touch it. None of the other family could touch it except for me or my grandpa. Awesome. Yeah, because I feel like, and I wanted to go to like cats and dogs as well. Like it's just, it's like there's, you know, it, more dogs, but I yeah, didn't feel like there's dogs, other birds and as well. So, you know, and w when you're like that, and it's like when they come in like this, it's like they're all cheering on, cheering you on from the other side. So it's very much like um, they're all coming in to go, we're encouraging you. And with that, I feel like there's some kind of, um, there's a new direction for you or you're really um, stepping up into what it is you're meant to be doing. So I feel like this is a bit of a shift from what you'd normally have been doing, but there's, it's almost like you're changing direction. So I feel like that's relevant this year for you. Yeah, it is. I, yeah. I feel so, like I have a calling to like do what you do, but I'm just scared to step myself into it. I don't know if I'm scared yeah. of seeing like shadows or something. I'm just scared. I'm holding myself back. Yeah, absolutely. And that's common. You know, that really is common. But the fact that they've all gathered around today, like to come in for you, is like you can't go wrong because they're all stepping up in the spirit world saying, you know, we're here to back you. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not uncommon to step into this because it is, it's not an exact science. So it's a scary kind of thing to go, hang on, you know, if I'm reading for people or if I'm standing up on stage. You know, I have this concern and worry and, and, you know, all these fears come up. But for you, if you take it away from yourself and say, I've got all of this great spiritual team here that are going to help me, it's not all up to you. It's just a case of you saying yes and they will guide you. So for okay. you, it's like you were, you were born to do this. So it's not something that, you know, you just kind of, you know, that you picked up to do for a little while. It's really innately who you are. And uh, I do feel like what they're showing me too, there's something where there's been a change that now facilitates you to be able to do this more so than you would have, say, last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. Probably meditation so like, and self-love probably yeah. changing. And, but you're also, I feel like there's opportunities around as well. So it's almost like once you say yes, people are going to say, can you come and, read here you know there's places that you'll be that you'll be offered to work out of um but i do oh. see a mentor stepping up so there's been somebody that has helped you but i do see somebody else that will help guide you as well so it's important that you connect with that person i feel like i'm going to a lady and um it's almost like it's just someone to to give you that confidence because for you opening up you're going to get the hits you're going to get the correct information it's not going to be hard for you but it's just having someone to support you and say hey you've got this and it's all going to be all right and you know you just it purely is a a um, surrender it really is about you know just surrendering to um, having faith in something bigger than yourself and ultimately that's what I see you doing and I see travel with that as well so I feel like travel is mm. high on your something that you'd love to do and I feel like this is going to give you the opportunity because people will be saying come here and come there so there's connections with doing retreats um, I see you heading to the ocean so there's opportunities where um, you'll be able to do what you love to do but be close to the beach it's like that's exciting um, mm -hmm. and you know I, I feel like it, that will fill your cup up as well so then that would like ultimately cure my ears ringing both of my ears been ringing non-stop yeah. like eight years now yeah of course that's a that's a very common sign from spirit ears ringing and you know because you haven't stepped up it's almost like you know there you know once you step up things like that do disappear because it's like constantly so you with your ears ringing you've had checks and they they haven't necessarily pinned it down to anything they can't find anything no they can't find anything in my ears both of them ring and they're both annoying because it's all I hear so I have to have extra loud TV because all the hairs are ringing and it's like an ee in both sides and they haven't found anything yep. they've done brain scan everything absolutely so that's that's commonly how spirit will make you step up so it's like now set that intention and you know even if you just sit down and say right I'm going to step up and do this I know this is what I, I was born to do so show me the way and quit the ringing in my ears now and you will you'll find it'll dissipate but it is about you stepping up and not just sitting back on it. It's about taking those steps. So 
regardless, you would you will be going into it, but I do feel like it's like they want to push you to say, okay, come on, find that person that helps you um, because for you it's going to happen quick. So you're going to open up and then all of a sudden before you know it, you'll be stepping up into it. You know, for some people it takes a little while, but I just see for you it won't. So, and I feel like you're well supported with the family and those around you. Like, it's not like you'll have a battle if you step up and say, look, I'm, you know, I'm a medium and I'm connecting to, to the spirit world. I don't feel like it's going to be a big deal. Yeah, no, they, they know how I feel about that and they don't say very much to me because they've gotten more to, like, know more about this stuff and they're more on board with things like that because I've yeah. shown them things and, like, you can't deny this, this is happening. Or, you know, so they're a little bit no. more than what they used to be. Mm, yeah, beautiful. So look out for the mentor because there is somebody around you. I don't feel that they're that far away that will help you just navigate those first few steps. But once you've got through that, easy. Um, yeah, and certainly shoot me a message. Once you've got through that, like I'm more than happy to support other mediums stepping up and in promotion and the rest of it. It's, you know, really great to see. The world needs more of us. So, you know, well done because I do see you stepping up. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my pleasure. All right, I'm out of time, but thank you so much. And I'm excited for you. So get excited. This is a great journey for you. You're going to love it. All right. Take thank care, you. everybody. Thanks for the call. Bye for now. Woohoo.